So you're thinking about buying a luxury home in Colorado Springs, I think that's a great idea because not only is it an amazing, beautiful place to live, but when you're comparing luxury homes to like places in Castle Rock or Denver, we definitely have more bang for your buck. You get way more house for your money. That's why Colorado Springs is so popular for our luxury homes. People will come here and they will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars more to get a luxury home here because they're so underpriced compared to other larger cities. So that's what we're talking about in this video, so stick with me. Iris Burton here, real estate agent here in the beautiful city of Colorado Springs. Welcome to the Living the Springs channel, your favorite relocation information channel. I'm always helping people relocate to the city. I'd love to help you relocate to the area as well, so my information will be on the screen, please. Feel free to reach out anytime. Check the description box for other ways to reach out to me and perhaps jump on a quick video call and talk about your needs. I'm always posting videos on this channel, so you're always welcome to subscribe so that you can learn all things about Colorado Springs and what it's like living here. So let's talk about the different luxury neighborhoods in Colorado Springs. We don't usually have like these extravagant homes or tons of them. It's rare that we're gonna have like huge, 10 20 million dollar homes like some of the other larger cities you know in different places right here in the mountains and we do have a lot of really cool homes that sit up on a mountain now i don't know how i would like living in that situation where i'm having to go up a hill especially if there's snow so that's something to think about if you are planning to buy a luxury home up in the mountains but the thing about the luxury homes here in the springs is that you're paying a premium for your views so because people are always looking for those mountain views or they want to be in the trees where everything just looks foresty and gorgeous and animals and nature and all those things so people will tend to pay a higher premium and that's just evidenced in places that have like a home listed for a certain price and then it goes over for you know seventy five thousand dollars more now this was happening when we had the big frenzy over covid so it's not happening as much as it was before but if you have a mountain view in your backyard or if you have a big giant window where there's mountain views people are going to fight over those listings. So at the time of this video, we had about 150 luxury homes, which is about a million dollars and up price range. And stick around to the end because I wanna show you the most expensive home that's listed on the market as of today per the Pikes Peak MLS. So that's the website where all of the homes for sale are housed. And so there could be more expensive houses that are being new built, like new construction. That's not gonna be included in this list because it's just a home that's not been built yet, or sometimes they don't put it in the MLS. This is just according to the Pikes Peak Association of Realtors. So anyway, just that disclaimer. These are all homes that are in El Paso County, and most of them are gonna fall in the following districts. We have District 11, District 12, District 14, which is in Manitou Springs, a highly Tourist, touristy town. And then we have District 49, which is out east. We have District 20 and District 38, which is in Monument. So very north of Colorado Springs, still in El Paso County. So one of the things, unless you have a newly built home or the house was built you know, within the last five or 10 years. One of the things about the luxury homes here in the Springs is that they can be dated. I had mentioned in another video before that sometimes they have like all the wood decorations, like the country cabin type decorations and feel. So now that we have a lot of people coming from larger cities, we're noticing a lot of them are not a huge fan of how the house looks and how it's decorated. So if you want a more modern feel, you're gonna have to get a newer new construction home or home that has been completely remodeled and redone. So dated real estate is something that happens like a lot in the Broadmoor area and the Black Forest area, so a lot of older homes. And the newer homes are usually going to be in like the Flying Horse neighborhood or some of Black Forest. They're starting to build a lot more new construction out there 
and some parts of Manitou Springs. So it really just depends on the house. I got some aerial views of this really cool house that sits right on top of a hill. It's got an infinity pool. It's just amazing. So we'll look at that too. Now, one thing to note, if you are gonna be looking at luxury homes, obviously there's a lot of stuff online that you can look at Zillow, you can look on my website, but you can have a virtual tour. Oftentimes they will have videos or virtual tours where you can actually click and go into each room, not like the fake glorified slideshows when people say it's a virtual tour, but it's just a slideshow of like a PowerPoint, a fancy PowerPoint. I'm not talking about those kinds of virtual tours. I don't think that's a virtual tour in my opinion. So sometimes they will have those and you can obviously look through there to find what the house find out what the house looks like. But oftentimes, if you want to look at one of these luxury homes, agents will require and sellers may require that you have a pre-approval in hand. And that is for people's safety, the seller's safety and the agent's safety. Agents get scammed all the time. I know, hard to believe, right? But we get constantly bombarded with scams. So sometimes if you ever wonder why an agent hasn't responded to you or called you back, sometimes it's because they think that it's a spam. And so what we do often, especially with luxury, because I know a lot of people just want to see the house and see what it looks like with no intention of purchasing the house. So the seller is put in a situation where they're trying to get all their stuff together, trying to get you know the house ready for someone who's just not serious about purchasing the home. So we have to have pre-approval letters and oftentimes 24 hour notice to be able to see the homes. And so if you are planning on moving to Colorado Springs and buying one of these homes, you definitely need to plan ahead and then be understanding because if it were you and you had this elaborate luxurious home and people were wasting your time coming to look at it when they had no intention of buying they just wanted to see it if someone is not a good person and they you know end up going into this house and you know sometimes agents just want to be extra cautious of that real estate is has been noted to be one of the more dangerous professions recent in recent years just because of you know, people being attacked and whatnot. When you get into these giant homes, like five to 7,000 square feet, these people, the sellers or the seller's team or the agent's team, they're going out there and they're making sure that the house is clean. They might be hiring someone to help them clean the house. And then they go and turn on all the lights in the house and they might put on really nice music for you. They might put on some light scents. A lot of people will often have little video players going, some music. I don't know if I mentioned that, but music in the background. Some features like waterfalls or any neat things that the house might have, like a really cool feature. Sellers would like to get that ready for you as well. And then if they have pets, then we have to put pets away. So it can become this ordeal why they need the 24 hour notice sometimes and why they only want serious buyers that are actually qualified to go into the house to actually view so completely understandable so anyway all that to say serious buyers and pre-approval letters are usually highly highly required or encouraged. Now we'll go ahead and go into the six neighborhoods that are really popular, you know, according to the sales and the data from the MLS. The first one is Crystal Park. Now Crystal Park is fabulous. It's a very interesting neighborhood in Manitou Springs. So Manitou Springs is on the west side of Colorado Springs, more in the mountains. So if you want that true mountain life living, Manitou Springs is perfect. People come from all over the world to see Manitou Springs. It's a very unique place. People often ask, you know, that's where you would go to get your recreational marijuana. There's a lot of really cute shops and there's a lot of history and culture and art and all kinds of really vibrant elements that go along with a historical town. So I have a whole video on that, so I won't get too deep into it. There's a lot of hills going into Crystal Park. So it sits up high. You get the views, you get the privacy, and then you have just that premium for just living in a very interesting place. It's not your typical standard, you know, cookie cutter neighborhood. 
it's a very interesting place to live in. They have a lot of mature trees. It's a huge tourist spot, like I had mentioned. And also, you know, it's kind of expensive. You can find land listed for sale starting at a million dollars. And you can get it for under that too, but I am not surprised when I see expensive land. That's completely raw, nothing done to it. You know, they've got protected land. There's a super old tree there. Very cool place. All right, so going a little bit more north of Manitou, two springs you have the garden of the gods area so this is like mountain shadows anything on the west side of the highway you can still get all those red rock formations and all those neighborhoods around there there's you know gated luxury there's some really fantastic neighborhoods and areas around that showcase the beauty of colorado springs it's like the poster child neighborhood of the area some of these homes sit up on a hill so just a lot like crystal park and manitou springs very similar neighborhoods but you're kind of going more into the city now while you are in the city so there's a lot of businesses and shopping and things like that so it's really cool to be right Right in the heart of town but still get those striking views from your front yard your backyard or your bedroom but all the convenience of shopping so uh, that's garden of the gods area anything pretty much on the west side 80907 or 80919 zip codes a little like right in the middle west side of town UCCS is really close by, so it's convenient for that. You've got the University Village Shopping Center, which has, you know, Kohl's. There's an Apple store nearby for all you iPhone users. They've got a lot of really cool restaurants. There's a Costco over there in that area. Some really cool desserts like crumble cookies. There is a nothing but cakes. If you've not tried one of these, these are my absolute favorite cakes. My kids love them. They have all these different flavors and it's got this amazing cream cheese topping. That's what they use for their frosting on their cakes. So I just love this area. It's hip, it's really cool and very busy. All right, so the next neighborhood, we're gonna go a little bit more north to Flying Horse. And this neighborhood has amazing, amazing resort style living. You can buy a membership here. You don't have to live in the neighborhood, but if you purchase a brand new build with Flying Horse, last I had talked to them, they said that it comes with, the membership comes with a new construction home. So if you're interested in more information about that, let me know because I have all the details and I can get you hooked up. Flying Horse is pretty neat because it's got this steakhouse that is also up, open to the public, but they have certain areas that they block off to keep for the members and residents only which is great because sometimes these restaurants get way too packed and you have to wait one or two hours to get a seat to go have dinner maybe and if you have family in town or if you're getting married or you know all, all kinds of different things events can clutter up the steakhouse there's exclusivity to like the swimming pool the kids restaurant or the deli that's near the swimming pool they want to make sure that their members are going to have first dibs and rightfully so. It's a great neighborhood. If they just invited everybody in the public, then it would always be packed and the residents would not be able to take advantage of those amenities that are there. So I have a whole video on Flying Horse. I won't get too deep into the details, but you can check the link in the description below this video to find out more about Flying Horse. Now, because it's a little bit newer neighborhood, they might not have as much mature trees. They do have big trees, especially when you're at the steakhouse. They're huge trees. And then there's the golf course. So while you're eating dinner, you can watch people play golf. It's really cool. I love it. We'll just take a quick break and have lunch there. It's right there by the Air Force Academy. So on the north end of town, just minutes away from I-25 and maybe about 45 minutes to Denver. So it's a quick trip up to Denver if you need to get up there. If you're working in Castle Rock and you just want to live outside, you know, where it's a little bit more affordable because you can get a lot more house you know, in Flying Horse, if you wanted to live there and then just commute back and forth, maybe you work in a hybrid schedule where you don't have to be in every day, that's kind of nice. So people will often work in Denver and then just commute back and forth because it is so far up north. All right, so the next neighborhood that is really popular for luxury is the Broadmoor area. The Broadmoor I have a couple videos actually on the Broadmoor, but it's very historic. You've got the number one zoo in the entire world, or it's one of the best zoos 
in the entire world at the top of Cheyenne Mountain. So you get to go on this hike. So it's like being on a hike while you get to see all these animals, which is really neat. There's a lot of people that come from all over the world to see. So you can see all the people during the tourist time and they're all speaking different languages and that's really cool. I like that. They have this giant bridge where you can see the entire city and it's over by the elephants. So if you're ever in town and you're visiting, check out the elephants, go on the bridge. It's amazing. The views, you could just go there just for that. The most expensive house is actually in this neighborhood. And oftentimes the most expensive house will be in this area. I think at one point there was a 10 car garage and just these homes are amazing. They're just so full of history and one of the oldest, if not the oldest neighborhood, I think, Colorado Springs. So right now we are in the Broadmoor area and this is the nicer part of Broadmoor. It's so quiet here and as you can see, we're walking through this neighborhood. You can kind of see how massive these houses are. They're just insanely beautiful. Some of these houses are a little bit older. Some have been updated because a lot of times when you're in Colorado Springs luxury, you're gonna have some dated houses, dated real estate, so some of them might not be as updated unless you're in a new construction area, as mentioned before. So the reason why this neighborhood is so popular is that it's very close to Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And then you have all these trees. And then if you look up there, and hopefully we can get some of the footage, let's see. The light is catching it, so let me just adjust the lighting. All right, so you can kind of see the mountains there, but it's a sunny day, it's bright out here, so it's kind of difficult to see. So anyway, beautiful neighborhood. Now this is gonna be the most expensive house that I had mentioned before. So I'll go ahead and give you a glance at it. There is a guest house, five bedrooms. Let's just take a look at this. This is 22 Crossland Road and it's got nine baths. The five bedrooms, there's also an office and five full bathrooms and 15,000 square feet built in 2007. Just sits on a little bit over one and a half acres. And so this is it, this is the house and they've got 50 pictures. We won't go through all of them, but we'll just go through a few here. You can see that guest house there, but see how, you know, kind of dated real estate. Even though 2007 is not too far away, it's a little more dated than a lot of the people are wanting, a little bit more modern. So like these beams up here could be a dark brown color or black. I've been seeing a lot too. With the floors, we've been seeing the vinyl, luxury vinyl down thicker planks but it's still a gorgeous incredible house with all the detail the huge windows with the views so that is the front of the house when it was nice and green of course right now it's pretty cold and wintry so classic colorado feel tile oh the wood they're a little bit wider than what they looked like in that other shot but an incredible home right here in the broadmoor most expensive currently. I like to look every now and again to see what the most expensive houses are. If you want more information, just let me know about that and I'll get that over to you. We all know about the Broadmoor Hotel. It's just a very popular hotel where presidents have come and it's just been made famous, very luxurious. When I used to work in the wedding industry, <laughs> We used to have teams go out and we'd fit all the groomsmen for their tuxedos. And I used to get so excited when they're like, hey, we have a fitting down at the Broadmoor and I would just love it. So I'd go down, you know, measure all their tuxedos and get all the guys fitted. That way they didn't have to come to the shop. We just literally brought the shop to the Broadmoor. You know, when you are traveling and you're flying in to go to a wedding, you usually don't have time to go to the fitting store and get fitted there. So oftentimes we would do that. But anyway, I used to get really excited when I would get to go to the bridal shows because they would have all these insane, you know, wedding events and parties and it was just magical. So a lot of people would go to the Broadmoor just to get married and it, it was very expensive. But during Christmas time down in the Broadmoor, they do all the lights and they just make it so beautiful. So hopefully this year I'll be able to get down and get some footage and so you guys can see what that looks like but love 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 the vibe down there of course you're still going to be going up all these hills to get to your house 
so again similar to the wet because it is you know southwest of Colorado Springs so it's similar to like Manitou Springs and the Garden of the Gods a lot more trees a lot more views because you're way up high and you can see the whole city the next neighborhood known for luxury homes in Colorado Springs is Cathedral Pines Oh my gosh, a lot of these homes have been featured in the Parade of Homes event that gets hosted every year. You get to go inside these multi-million dollars houses and tour them. So Cathedral Pines has always been, from what I remember, in these Parade of Homes shows. So they have a lot more modern homes now. You can buy lots out there and you're surrounded by trees. And depending on the lot that you get, if it's sitting up on a hill, then you can see the mountains and everything. So you can check out my video on Black Forest to get kind of like the aerial view and learn more about that neighborhood. It's a little bit hidden within like the Black Forest area, but it's, you know, called Cathedral Pines and there's a lot of, you know, dirt roads up to your property. There's a one highway that goes across. It's just a two lane highway. So very secluded and private. You can get some acreage and even buy horses. If that's your thing, you can get some horses, some land and just live, you know, a true Colorado life. All right, so next is King's Deer and King's Deer is actually in Monument and Monument, so you might be picking up a theme here. Everybody wants to be in the trees and everybody wants to be where the mountains are. So anything on the west side of the highway or anywhere where there's a ton of trees, people are just flocking to these areas and they're wanting to build luxury homes. So King's Deer is a quieter place. It's kind of between Colorado Springs and Castle Rock, so not as far north as Castle Rock, but coming down I-25 South, there's like Glen Eagle and some communities that make up the Tri Lakes area. So there's a lake out there and you can get gorgeous, beautiful homes, maybe close to the water, maybe right there in the mountains, right there where the trees are. And it's very close to the Academy, the Air Force base. So people like to commute there and go out there just because it's so peaceful and quiet and away tucked away from the busyness of the city so king's deer monument still in el paso county just more secluded up north more luxury there you definitely get a lot more space with these homes the houses aren't as you know crammed in together as they are in other neighborhoods if you want more information about that just let me know and then finally i just wanted to talk about new construction so i spoke earlier about real estate being dated in some of the older neighborhoods. So if you want to find a property that's been completely updated, maybe you get to pick all the finishes, the colors, the paint and all that, that might be a route for you. You can just buy the lot and build your own home. You definitely wanna choose the right builder. So just shoot me a quick message and I will get you the information on some of the top builders. That way you make sure that you have a high quality home. Some of these neighborhoods, they only, like Flying Horse, you can only be a specific rating or higher to actually even be invited to build in these lots. So you get really good quality homes that you can trust have truly your best interest at heart and giving you the best service construction for your new builds. So if you're looking for really cool things like a theater room, if you want to have updated great rooms, like great rooms are the thing now, the big wide open spaces and the older houses have everything separated off. So unless you wanna knock down walls, which I know people who have, they would were willing to knock down walls and just fully renovate these so you can get a deal like you know, an $800,000 house and then just put a couple hundred thousand dollars into re renovations. I don't know. I don't know how far you want to go in with the remodeling situation or if you just want to build a house and make it your very own. Like if you like to watch those fix and flip shows, which I used to, but then I will always want to redo my house. So anyway, you'll get the newest finishes. You'll get, you know, trending paint colors. You can get better floor plans, more control over your choices. So if you want to have a basketball court in your backyard, then you can do that. If you want to choose which way your house is facing the mountains, if you want your back deck facing the mountains, you know, just these little things that you can have more control over. Maybe you want a tennis court in your backyard. It can just be fully customized and updated and 
created the way that you want it to be done. But quick tip on theater rooms. If you're gonna have a theater room, make sure that they put the padding above the theater room so that you don't hear people walking across the floor upstairs. Because if you ever lived in an apartment before or if you you know, are downstairs, you can hear people jumping and if you have kids, you can hear them making all kinds of noise upstairs. So make sure you get that extra padding in between the theater room and the upstairs if that's the case. The video that's popping up on the screen has a little bit more information about luxury neighborhoods in this area. So if you have any questions, don't forget, I'm a real estate agent here in Colorado Springs, would love to help you relocate to your beautiful luxury home. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content like this and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.